Hello and welcome to this video on drawing frequency polygons. Now frequency polygons are just effectively a way to draw a bar chart as a line graph and I will dive straight into a question and show you how to draw this. So we've got these different intervals here of weight so we've got this interval where we've got three people with a weight between 0 and 10 kilograms, seven people with a weight between 10 and 20 etc. So the x-axis is our weight axis in kilograms we have the unit uh, and let's just put 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we've got a frequency axis. So this is an example of a frequency diagram. We need up to our maximum frequency. So let's just go up to 15. So we're going to have 5, 10, 15. Now we need to plot a single point for each of these intervals. So what would be a good weight to represent those three people in the 0 to 10 interval? Now we don't know their weight, but 5 kilograms in the middle of this interval would be a good weight if we had to choose a single weight to represent those three people. And what we do is we use that midpoint of 5 kilograms with a frequency of 3. So we do 5 and then up to 3 on the y-axis, the frequency axis. And then we do the same for the next interval. So we use a, the midpoint of 15 kilograms to represent that group, 15 with a frequency of 7. So 15's here, frequency of 7, 15, 7 there, roughly there. Now we've got zero people with a weight between 20 and 30, so we therefore use 25 with 0, 25, 0. And don't forget to include that point, even though the frequency is 0. And finally, we use 35 with 12. We plot that. 35, 12 is going to be somewhere up here. And then what we do is we join them up with straight lines. No curve, just dot to dot, straight lines like this. And mistakes that students make is that sometimes they join this to the origin. You should definitely not do that. And sometimes students join the first point to the last point. You shouldn't do that either. And I've seen exam questions before where they actually get you to critique a student's drawing. And you might sometimes see a line here or see a line joining those. And that's what you should spot and say what went wrong. Now I want you to do this second question as a kind of test your understanding question. You may want to pause the video here to have a go at this. Right, let's do it. So we need a suitable axis. So we've got the heights here. So height, and um, we're going up to 15. So let's do 5, 10, 15. And we want the unit for height, it's meters. And then we've got the frequency axis as the y axis. And we're going up to 15. So we could do 5, 10, and 15 again, or I could go up to 20, 5, 10, 15, 20. So we plot the midpoint 2.5 with 8, 2.5 with 8. We plot the midpoint here 7.5 with 15, so 7.5, 15. And 12.5 with 5, 12.5 with 5. And then we join them up dot to dot with lines like that. It's kind of like a mountain range. Um, another mistake that students make is that they don't use the midpoint. Now in another video we look at cumulative frequency graphs. Now with cumulative frequency graphs you use the end point of each interval. So you use the 5, the 10 and the 15. Whereas with frequency polygons you use the middle of each interval. So don't get confused between frequency polygons and cumulative frequency graphs. Now one last type of question I wanted to show you that sometimes comes up is that you're given the frequency polygon and they ask you to find, say, the mean time. We could work backwards and work out what the frequency table was that would have given us this frequency polygon. But can you see sort of that point there is halfway between 0 and 2 seconds, that point there is halfway between 2 and 4, etc. So these are the midpoints. But do you remember how we found the mean of a group frequency table? Do you remember that we need to find firstly an estimate of the total time? And to find an estimate of the total time, we did each midpoint of the interval times by the frequency and added all those together. So we can do that. We use the midpoint of this 0 to 2 interval, which is 1. So we just read off that time there of 1 and do it times the frequency which is 2 then we add the next midpoint 3 times the frequency of 4 and then we do the next one 5 times 3 and we do the next one 7 times 1 and then we divide by the total frequency so if we divide by these frequencies that's a frequency of 2 that's frequency of 4, that's the frequency of 3, that's the frequency of 1. If we add those together to get the total frequency, that gives us 10. So we divide by 10. And if I just do that on my calculator, 
we got 2 plus 12 plus 15 plus 7. That's 36 divided by 10. And therefore, an estimate of the mean, so that's really an estimate, would be 3.6 seconds.